What's going on, you guys? Mr. Money One Two Three Five back here yet again for another album review: The Witches, Annabelle Dream Reader. Now, before I get into this album review, I want to tell you guys what you're getting into when you listen to this thing. This is one of those bands that I think has one of the biggest influences resting right on their shoulders. Does the idea of the Misfits, the Cramps, Queens of the Stone Age, and Jack White all butt fucking each other turn you on? then this is the album for you. The really lo-fi, dirty guitars and the really kind of cramped sounding solos in the middle of these songs just make for some of the best fucking rock songs I've heard this year. I really love the rawness of this band and I really love the rawness of this album. The influences, like I said, from those four bands especially are leaking in and out of this thing everywhere. There's a little bit of like psychobilly going on, kind of like Reverend Horton Heat. This album is amazing, by the way, by them. And I just really dig the style that these guys are going for. Digsaw just starts us off on an explosive wave. The guitars are crashing, the solos are in there, the guitars sound really, really lo-fi and hard, and it sounds great. The drumming is superb. This band just has so many key elements to them, and the band name is so perfect to go along with the type of music that these guys play. The only problem that I have with this album, the only issue that I'm really having to deal with on this thing when listening to it is the vocals, sadly. While some parts are better than others to me when I'm listening to these songs, sometimes it just, I don't really get into the whole screaming part of these songs and stuff like that. I know this type of music is kind of, you know, all wrapped up in that. But at the same time, I can't pretend like I'm really enjoying that part of these songs. Honestly, if the vocals were a little bit more clean on a few more of these songs, I would probably be enjoying this album a whole lot more than I am. But that's just a personal issue that I'm having with it. Most people are really going to dig this album, hence why I'm giving a review about it. The first half of this album kind of has the same formula as the first song, all really, really fast, upbeat tunes. But then the second half of the album sees the band slowing down a little bit. The song Summer Again, for example, in this thing kind of sounds like a nightmarish zombie prom. I used the same example in that Frank Iero album that I reviewed, and um, yeah, it's a, it's a creepy song, and like I said, it sounds like a dance for a zombie prom. Really shows off this band's sensitive side on the second half of this album. I'm honestly more a fan of the first half of this album though, but still, it's really cool to hear both sides of the coin on this record. All in all, if you are a fan of any of the bands that I mentioned before, I highly recommend you check this band out. If only the vocals were a little bit cleaner, I would be enjoying this thing a whole lot more, but, you know, it's just my personal problem I have. You guys feel free to enjoy the entire thing, because I know a whole lot of you guys will. That's why I'm reviewing this thing. Check it out, see for yourself. Full albums on YouTube. Mr. Buddy 1, 2, 3, 5. I'll see you guys later.